T.O. please. Hey there, this is T.O. bringing another Kerbal Space Program video. Today's video, I'm going to be slamming a rocket into the surface of Minmus. I've got a, a contract on my one of my career modes to collect data using the Grand Slam Passive Seismometer. So most of the deployable science that you can you can use naturally collects data as time progresses. Well, the Grand Slam Passive Seismometer does not. The only way it will collect data is if you smash things into the surface of the celestial body relatively close to wherever you deploy that experiment. So I've got a, a seismometer already deployed on Minmus, so now it's time to send something down to the surface of Minmus that I can smash without causing any casualties. So I went with this very simple rocket design. Hopefully you saw a moment ago, it's got you know three very cheap engines, a couple side boosters just to get me some extra delta V to get off the surface of Kerbin and a very small payload at the top. It's going to be an engine with a little bit of fuel and a nose cone. Not a whole lot, but if I can get this at a pretty decent speed to slam into Minmus, it should be enough of an impact to to give me all the data that I need to complete the contract. So, pretty basic mission, but uh, I, this is only the second time I've ever intentionally done this. You know, I've, I've crashed things into celestial bodies dozens of times just to get rid of some debris and whatnot, but never with the intention of landing or impacting close to a, uh, a seismometer to get the data to complete a contract. So I did it once before on this same uh, career mode with the, uh, the the MUN. This is the first time I'll be doing it with Minmus. So here you see I'm trying to cheat and get a, a good rendezvous with Minmus without having to change my inclination by forcing a, a a rendezvous at the descending node. This descending node. So usually you'll match the inclination of Minmus and then get the next closest rendezvous. But here I'm, uh, I'm only going to get a rendezvous at the descending node. So saving a little bit of delta V, I'm going to use the rest of the fuel that I have to increase my my velocity as I get close to Minmus, so that I can get the most impact possible. So um, this is a, a pretty fun mission. As I said, I've done it only once before um, with the MUN, and it was successful. So here I'm hoping I can get a, a good enough impact, close enough to one of my, I think, two available seismo uh, seismometers. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. So uh, that's my goal, is to get an impact as close to the deployed science as possible. I think it's, uh, we should see it here on screen in a second. The... Uh, there you can see it's on the far side of the uh, of Minmus, so it's kind of tough to to gauge. I, obviously, I didn't gauge when to leave uh, Kerbin based on the position of the deployable science module. I left when I was going to get a good rendezvous with Minmus, so uh, basically, I'll have to speed up or slow down as I'm approaching Minmus to give the deployable science enough time to get under my impact zone. So there you can see my approach just a little bit to the east. Let me see if I can move it a little further. As the uh, as the planet rotates, the experiment's gonna get a little further from me, so I was trying to adjust for that. So let's, let's see if I've moved quite far enough. Yep, okay, so now I'm, I'm pretty much gonna land impact in the same ice sea as the, uh, as the experiment is deployed, so. Pretty good approach there. You can see on the screen it's in the little square box. That's where the experiment is. So I don't need to be right next to it. Uh, I need it to be relatively close to it. So here I'm burning the rest of my fuel to increase my velocity. Let's see, I've got some notifications. Some some science sent back to the surface of Kerbin. Now I need to try to load my seismometers. They don't always have connectivity back to Kerbin because I don't have a relay network set up. So let's see if I can transmit the data. Basically gonna time warp until I have connectivity back to Kerbin and I have enough energy on my solar panels. And there we go, completed my contract. And there you have it. That's how you smash things into planets and moons to get data using your passive seismometer. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Appreciate you for tuning in, and I hope to see you again next time.